Thanks for joining me in the kitchen today. It's more of my normal kitchen, but I'm, again, surrounded by Rotarians. Who would have figured two weeks in a row? There you go. And, and you've got your Rotary Rotary and shirt on. And I got, on. Uh, yeah, honorary Rotary shirt it on. Looks good. <laughs> so, so we're going to do a different kind of rib here today. I chose to do country style ribs, and the reason being is that these are great done in an oven at home, and I know that a lot of people, you know, it might just be because of weather conditions out there, you don't want to get into the smoke, or maybe you're in an apartment, or, or you don't have a barbecue. So we're going to braise these like we braised some of the other ribs that we were barbecuing, and we're going to do a rub on them first. So I've got a big bowl to do a rub in, I like doing things big around here. Um, Danica, Bryce, if I can get you to mix up the spices sure. together. Um, you might think this is afternoon, we're making up some ribs for the evening. <laughs> what do daybreak Rotarians do? At 6 a.m. in the morning, before they go to work, they show up to make ribs. So we are making ribs for breakfast. It's a little small and tight in the kitchen, but it's more like a Newfoundland uh, party we got going absolutely, on here. Absolutely, absolutely. I don't know if we're gonna play the spoons, <laughs> but uh, maybe that's the next step. <laughs> oh, excellent. Who do we eat the fully volunteer organization? That looks perfect, Bryce. There we go. Now we have uh, the rub looks wonderful. I'm going to call it a rub, but you know when I do this, oftentimes if I got space inside the kitchen here, I got a big bowl. I won't bother rubbing it because I don't have to then put on gloves. I don't have to worry about. You know, that becomes really simple. All I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to dump the ribs inside, and, coat them. and we're going to coat them. There we go. Just a little bit of coating around. Once or twice. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to tuck them to the side, and if you uh, give me a minute, I am going to get a pan and uh, put a little bit of parchment paper on, and we're going to stick those in the oven at low heat just to braise. Danica, Bryce, I did it wrong. Danica, Bryce, <laughs> that's better. Those look marvelous, great team effort. Let's put them in the oven for a couple of hours, low heat. We're gonna put some tin foil on them. They'll just braise, and then we'll be ready to sauce them up afterwards. At two hours of braising, and we have absolutely gorgeous ribs here to start to uh, work with. Uh, Danica, uh, maybe if I can get you to take the ribs out. We're just gonna let them dry or get a little bit of moisture off them. So if you wanna put those into the bowl, would love to, John. That would be great. And while we're doing that, letting them dry off a little bit, we're gonna make up a uh, gonna make up a barbecue sauce. So we're gonna start with um, just a little bit of ketchup. Bryce, do we have to memorize our uh, recipe here? No, we're not gonna need to memorize this because, of course, it's gonna be available online for you. You're gonna be able to print it out. You're gonna be able to have a look at it. So all these ingredients are gonna be listed for you. Perfect. Oh, those look gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. In, uh, excellent. In the recipe that we're, we're doing right now, we've got some really cool things in here. We've got maple syrup, so real Canadiana. Yeah. And of course, we've got all of our standards. We've got pepper, salt, we've got cumin. We have um, onion powder. But you know what, we're adding a couple of little twists in here that, that make this really a, a, a homey style thing. I have some cinnamon going in. Oh. And I've got a little bit of allspice. Yeah, they're not overpowering at all, but they, um, you know, you really pick up the little hints and notes inside that. I'm going to give it a stir. I've, I've used a fairly big bowl. That's so you can't see. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. To make, to, to make a little bit of sauce. The bowl we test, didn't it? Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Is it the truth? Yeah. Number one. Must be. Must be. It must must be. be. It's on TV or it's on YouTube, so it has to be. Has to be. All right, sauce is all stirred up. You know, we could use the exact same baking tray that we um, took them out of, but I've taken out a new one. I've lined it again with parchment paper. Parchment paper is like the best thing ever because you don't have to clean off the bottom afterwards. So you could pour the sauce over the ribs, but what I prefer to do, and, and Danica, maybe if you can, uh, you can change places. Sure. If you want to put the ribs into the sauce. Oh, yeah, 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 and then awesome just, and you're going to give them a real good toss. They're going to coat up wonderfully. Yeah, yeah. we've had them for two hours braising at, at low heat, but now we're going to put them on at about 400 degrees. And we are just going to have them in there until we've caramelized that sauce on the ribs. And it is going to be so absolutely tasty and wonderful. I'm going to put that down. You, uh, 
you organize them as you see fit. Oh, thank you. So because we have cornbread going with this, we don't want to waste any of the sauce, so we're going to give it a, there we go. Just a little got, coating got, there at the end. Got to have something to dip that cornbread in. And you know what? Now they're ready to go into the oven. 400 degrees, we're going to caramelize that up, and these are going to be the best breakfast ribs you have ever had. <laughs> You'll never go back to bacon. Now, perfect side for ribs is cornbread, not just because it tastes incredible, but cornbread sops up everything. All the juices, all the flavors, you can, you can take your cornbread to it. And it's super easy. If you've never made cornbread before, here's a very fast, simple recipe. We've just got a couple of dry ingredients, flour, um, uh, cornmeal. Uh, I like using brown sugar instead of white. Perfect. So Danica, if you want to put the dry ingredients in. She's and already working on it. She's that. already working she's on working. it. She's ahead of me. Literally, you can make cornbread in like, you know, five minutes, you got the ingredients ready, they're set to go in the oven. And we don't have to uh, go over too crazy with it. So now that we've got that done, it just takes an egg, some milk, and some oil. So we throw all our wet ingredients. Don't worry about getting all the lumps out. When you're making a cornbread, you, yeah. you want to have a little bit of lumpies in the end, so we just want to make sure it's all combined. Okay, Danica, that looks absolutely perfect. I've got a, I've got a nine inch, now this is going to go in at 400 degrees and it's a perfect time to put it in with the ribs that are already at 400 degrees. Everything's going to come out. You can have warm cornbread to go with our breakfast. Yeah, we're, we're looking forward to it. It's going to be a yeah. great breakfast. You know, I love Daybreak Rotary Breakfast. It's got to be the best thing going. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't get any better than this. Oh, you know what? The, the country style ribs, the four-way test ribs, have come out beautifully. They're caramelized, they're looking, they're looking great. We got a couple of pictures here before they get devoured. Uh, the cornbread looks looks fabulous. We are going to we're gonna dig in, enjoy some good fellowship. Um, maybe uh, maybe Bryce Danica, if you could give one more plug for getting some tickets bought for the, the raffle and what that means and anything else that you want to add to it, that'd be great. Absolutely. For sure. So go to CamelonCribFest.com. Make sure to grab your recipes there. You can figure, you can find all the recipes on how we made these, how we made the other ribs, um, as well as get your raffle tickets. The five dollars each, you can win uh, fifty-two hundred dollars worth of groceries, making ribs every week, uh, or whatever you want for the family, right? And, uh, yeah. So get your tickets uh, available now until September. 